Nice. First time in Agadir, I've been to Morocco quite often anyway because my dad is fully Moroccan and his mum lives here basically so we come here every now and then but it's my first time in Agadir and I am actually also going to Marrakesh as well during next week so I'm really excited about that. Let's do a recap of how I got here in the first place. Where are we going today? We're at the airport now and we're making our way to check in. We have made it through check in and now I'm starving so I'm gonna try and find something to eat and then sit down because we've got an hour before boarding. I'm so tired. got some nuggets some cute little nuggets and sorry about the music guys they're having like a little session outside I got Kit Kat ice cream and the last thing I got oh I think they're called steak fries they look a lot different than the, the regular fries They're quite good. They're cold though, because we have to walk. But yeah, besides that, they're all good.
So right now it is coming to 9.30 in the morning and me and my family we're going to go to the Agadir Medina for the day, grab lunch and then later in the evening we're going to do a camel ride, hopefully catch the sunset and they said it includes seeing flamingos and having mint tea so I hope we see the flamingos because I really want to and mint tea is always my go-to like, I just love mint tea especially when you come to Morocco it's a must that you have mint tea so we're going to do that today that's basically the day so I'm going to give you guys a room tour and I'm also going to film a, a tour around the hotel <laughs> made it to La Medina de Agadir and there is an entry fee 40 dirhams per person and for children it's 20 dirhams so that works out roughly around three pounds for adults and one pound for children which is good so we're gonna go in and explore I'm really excited and we're also gonna be taking pictures so make sure to check my Instagram out and give it a like Medina de Agadir and we are at the hotel now they cleaned our hotel which was a hotel room which is really nice of them but we are now going to head down to the pool because it's over 35 degrees and I am baking I'm pretty sure I've caught a tan my phone is practically dead from all the filming today so I'm not taking you guys along with me this time but I promise you I will show you the pool very soon close up. We are all ready for the camel ride now and we're about to head down. It's 6pm. I did book this by Get Your Guide. Get Your Guide is very good to use when you're going abroad especially when you want to book in advance. So I suggest guys that when you go abroad use Get Your Guide. <laughs> We just came back from camel riding. I'm in my pajamas now. It was so fun. It was really long. It was two hour journey on the camels, so it was a lot of but you know it's all good my back's probably gonna be in pain tomorrow 
my abs are probably going to come in but it's it was so fun and the camels were so cute like i love camels so much they were so cute now we're probably gonna just go and sit by the pool because they have entertainment on every night i don't know what tonight is but i'm gonna go and check it out that's pretty much the night that we're gonna have today and tomorrow we're hoping to go to the beach for the whole day because i want to swim in the ocean Good morning YouTube family. Today is a new day and we are going to the Agadir Marina to see some boats and also look around and see what there is. After that we're going to head to the beach. They're all roughly in the same area anyway so we're going to go to the beach, do a bit of swimming and tanning grab something to eat and then make our way back to the hotel later today we're also meeting up with our other family who also is in morocco so i thought for now i'm going to take you around the hotel and give you a hotel tour so let's go and do that welcome to hotel argana located in the heart of Agadir. Let's head in and have a look around of what they have to offer. On arrival, you will find loads of taxis and greenery surrounding the hotel. As you make your way through the door of the hotel, you will see this sign letting you know outside food is not allowed on the premises. On this floor, you will find the reception, concierge, and all the activities they have to offer. As you make your way downstairs, you will find the restaurant where they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and the pool. Let me show you the pool. A lot of visitors enjoy eating outside and having a cocktail by the pool. This is another one of their seating areas where you can enjoy a different restaurant. As you head back inside after a swim, you can do a bit of shopping. This is one of their local shops they have on the lower ground floor where you can buy gondoras from. Just on the opposite side, you'll be able to find the food hall. On the same floor, they have quite a few rooms. You can also find two lifts that take you to each level. The lifts are quite slow, so I use the stairs, unless carrying luggage. This is the outside view, which is quite simple and pretty. I honestly love the outside layout of this hotel. Me and my family got two rooms on the third floor, which was pretty high up. Let's take the outside staircase to go up. This is the first level, and here is the view from the second level. Now we are making the way to my floor level. level you will find the gym which is located near the lifts. You will need to ask reception for the key to access the gym. The gym is quite big, I was actually surprised. They have a lot of gym equipment to train with and you can ask for a personal trainer if needed. Now let's make our way to the spa. The spa is located just opposite the pool and it is quite hidden. It actually looked quite scary at first when walking down the stairs. Once you make your way downstairs, you will smell the diffusers they have. It was such an intense smell. In the spa, you will have access to the steam room, a nice massage and hammer. Okay guys, so I'm going to switch cameras to this mini camera that can go underwater. So yeah, we're going to use this and we're going to go and head to the beach and explore. Look 
دو يا بينا في كتيري تلعبي على القلو شحال فاتو منك شحال بينا دي ماشي في دال أبعدي مني أنا ما تزوري مني والو عرب راسي أيوش لافي أنا سولو جيني جيني قد فارق دام لك دو يا بينا في كتيري تلعبي على القلو وانا 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 بزاف عليك انا وانا 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 The sand is really boiling. I had to put my, my slippers back on because it's so hot. Guys, it's insanely hot. everybody I am back in my room after an amazing lunch and now I am just actually editing the video that you are watching right now <laughs> I will be ending this vlog here as this is kind of the last day at this hotel but we have a week and a half in Agadir still with our nan but we are going to Marrakesh tomorrow for a night so make sure you don't go anywhere because it's just gonna get even more interesting but I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I hope that I made it informative for you guys because I haven't seen any reviews of this hotel yet and I wanted to review it because a few people have been asking like if it's good if it's bad so guys make sure to stay tuned and thank you for watching this and if you reach the end of this video comment a camel emoji down below goodbye